Hello everybody, this is going to be a very exciting day for me. Today is Friday, August 30th, 2019, and summer is almost over. And don't worry, the summertime video 4 will be uploaded, I mean made, sometime soon next month, okay? So I have not forgotten about that, and... I know I've been kind of burned out on holiday videos and all that stuff, and today I'm going to start a new beginning of my fire alarm collecting hobby. Today, this is my very first system test. This is system test one. So this is going to be a very new beginning for my fire alarm collecting hobby. Over the past three and a half years of fire alarm collecting, I finally get to start my very first system test. Just like New England Elevators did after he waited like uh, five to six years to start with his system testing. The panel that he has is a Monaco Vulcan 1 that puts out a FWR. And for my panel that I have, so this is going to be a big shout out to New England Elevators because I would like to conduct and dedicate my very first system test to him. Even though he hasn't been on really making much videos lately, he kind of stopped um, a little bit, but I miss him making videos, but I want to dedicate this first system test to him. And even fire alarm, alarm system tech that helped me set up this panel as well. So the panel that I have is an Auto Pulse 54. 542R. It's an ancient release control system. So this is a regular fire alarm conventional control panel. And I will address something with this panel, guys. This panel does put out filter DC, so it does put out filter DC. So it doesn't put FWR at all. It's too old for that. So this panel does not have an FWR output. It only puts out filter DC only. So what's nice about is filter DC as you can run any type of alarm you want, any kind, any alarm you want, including simplex. So if you wanted to do that, you could. So this panel only puts out filter DC. So I'm very surprised that this thing is fully operational when I got it in the mail last month. And, and I'm very surprised that this thing, and I'm so happy that this panel is doing a really good job running. It's working like it's supposed to, and all the pieces came with it, except the DAX card. And I did get a power supply for it. I did, a, I did get an AC power cord for my panel, so it's, it's working pretty A-OK. -okay. So this panel does a pretty good job of powering up my devices because I ran, I've run a couple of devices off this panel and it was really cool. And I'm very surprised that this thing was really, really easy to set up. And if I plan on getting enunciator for this panel, if if it's easy to wire up, I'll be utilizing that with the, the main board of the system pretty much. So Because usually the enunciator is basically the sub-panel of the fire alarm system but this is a main panel guys so this is a main panel it's the enunciator is basically a sub panel so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be utilizing that for the whole system because I don't have an enunciator yet I will I probably will in the future but let's just get started with system test one so for the panel components that I have inside of it let's open it up Stick the key all the way in. There we go. The keyhole is a little bit clunky a little bit, but that's all right, though. And you got this writing here, which I don't know who wrote that, but it came like that. So for the components that I have for the panel, I don't have any batteries for it yet. And the ground wire, the earth wire, has been snipped when this was taken out of a building. So... NAC1, these two screws, these first two on NAC1, um, NAC1 doesn't work for some reason, but the other NACs do still work. So I have 
I do have one of my devices hooked up to one of the NACs, and I have two zones hooked up right now. I'm not using any of the other zones right now, and I need to get an align resistor to clear all these NAC faults and open zone troubles and stuff, and I need to get batteries for it, but I don't know if I'm going to clear NAC1 because NAC1 is malfunctioning, but it's not hindering the operation of the system way too much. It's actually not hindering the operation of the panel at all. So, and disappointing news, guys, I can't reprogram this panel to different coding options because you basically have to uh, type in a code, and it doesn't really tell you. You just have to guess it, which is kind of hard to do because it's a five-digit code, and I have no idea what the the password is. <coughs> so I do apologize for that, guys. So I'm only using two zones, one NAC, and one of the relays, and I'll tell you why. All right. And this panel does a pretty good job of powering up my notification appliances. It does a pretty good job, so we have no issue with that. And once again, the panel only puts out filter DC. And for, for zone one, I have my two-wire Firelight BG12L conventional pole station because this is a regular conventional panel. It's a dual action push in pull down deal. So there there's the zone 1 pull station. Up right here for zone 2, we have my four wire system sensor i3 smoke detector wired up for the system. So that's on zone 2. And right here on one of the NACs, we have my very first fire alarm that I've gotten along with my classic ceiling mount that I've gotten a long time ago. And you could look up a video of that. So right here we have my System Sensor Spectre Alert Classic P2475 with the 75 Candela Strobe. And this was my very first alarm that I ever gotten. And the Classic Spectre Alert is going to sound like normal because the panel only puts out filter DC. So, so... There you guys have it, the whole system. And I think I've been and I think I'm done rambling for eight eight and a half minutes, I believe. So um so anyways, let's conduct my very first system test, guys. Here we go. Let's activate zone one first. Three, two, one. Zone 1 is activated. Acknowledge. Silence. Okay. Now let's reset the pole station because we know that's important. You can see the pole station zone 1's activated. So to clear that activation, we stick our firelight key in here. Reset the pole station. And there we go. Pole station is reset. So, stick our key back in here so I can close the panel and lock it. Yeah, the panel's already open. All right, now we could put a reset in the system. All right, there you guys go. And as you can see, the panel does put out a filter DC. That's why the classic Spectre alert sounds normal, as it's supposed to. If it was doing FWR, it would make a raspy sound. All right, let's activate 
zone two with the four wire i3 smoke detector we got two lines for the positive and negative and we got two lines for the relay that's how the smoke detector is wired so you can see the green led that's flashing it means the system's normal so are you guys ready let's hit the test switch Acknowledge and silence. And zone two is activated because the smoke detector I-3-4 wire is hooked on zone two. And you don't have to unscrew the smoke detector. If you, if you want to, it's up to you guys to, if you had smoke going in there, you have to blow to get the smoke out and hook it back up. But right now, I don't have to unscrew the smoke detector off its base because I didn't squirt smoke into it. And I don't have any test spray, guys, which is kind of disappointing. And I don't know even where I put my key. When I stop the camera, I'll look for it. I don't even know where I put my test switch paperclip. All right. As well, let's go ahead and put a reset in the system. Okay, zone two was activated, so let's go ahead and reset the system. Actually, I closed the panel, rather. Oh, here's my reset tool. The, there we go. All right, systems reset, and we're back to normal. Oh, great. I got my thing stuck in the panel. Hang on. All right, let me get it out. All right. All right, now we're back to normal. All right, guys. That was system test one. I hope you enjoyed it. The next system test will be system test two in the near future, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my very first system test and a new origin and a new beginning of my fire alarm collecting hobby. So I'm pretty much a new person on YouTube that's doing system tests, guys. So I'm trying to make some more fun for you guys as long as I can. And I hope you enjoy my very first system test, guys. I hope the other Fire Alarm YouTube users will be proud of me for conducting a system test for you guys, and I promised you guys that, and I did make that promise, and so, <coughs> excuse me, I have allergies, guys, that's why I'm coughing, and I was sneezing, too. Okay, in the classic Spectre Alert, horn strobe sounds normal, because the panel puts out filter DC, that's why it sounds clean and normal. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed my very first system test, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, hopefully you guys have a good time and great day. Happy Labor Day weekend, guys. Happy Labor Day weekend. So, figured this would be the perfect day to do it. So, if you want more system tests like this, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.